FSM 63 for course 27000. Okay, so I am on the Mac as you can see. I am already connected via VPN because I'm at home. Go connect to server. Obviously, I already typed in the server as I attended the course. Connect. Exam Coletti. Find here a long list of names. Coletti Paolo. Take all the files. Actually, I don't need to take nothing.accdb because I am planning to use uh, VMware to open it. Oh, but I don't even need to take banks. Let's try to work here. So I try to work online. Let's hope the network connection doesn't go down. So I double click on banks. So in sheet list, well, it wasn't a good idea to work online. Eh? Not very fast. Come on. Okay. Let's make it larger so you can see better. In sheet list, three colon n with return value of that row divided by the sum of all returns of all the banks in that year. Ooh, this is a little challenge. Equal return of that row, which is in situ. Situ. Equal situ divided by. Okay, clearly it's a sum if okay, of all the returns in that year, so I have to first the condition, so year, DB, okay, semicolon, now what I have to check is this one, B2, semicolon, what I have to sum, sum, okay, okay. fine seems, sum of the return, Okay, let's see whether they also put some dollars. Well, B and C don't need the dollars, so since you scroll down, you, you drag down. B2 and C2 don't need the dollars because I really want it to become a three and so on. Wonderful. Is it? Okay, I don't know why the first one doesn't calculate. Maybe it's just a graphic thing of the Mac. No. Okay, anyway, the formula is here. The professor can see it. Okay, the other one works fine. Okay. Save. Okay. When return column C is larger than index column J, fee column O with blah 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 if funding. Oh, it is a double if. Let's make it larger. Equal. If. So when return C2 is larger than index, so J2, in this case, I have to fill column O with something if founding is larger than asset. So again, another if founding G2 is larger than asset D2. In this case, profitable and trusted. Okay. Oh, profitable if founding is not larger than asset. So now I have finished the internal if, semicolon, and now the case in when return is not larger than index, write a dash. So, write a dash. Click, click. This is really annoying, this graphical issue here. Good. Stay safe. Okay, let's make it at least larger so you can see. Okay. Ah, no, there is. It's just a graphical, there is a number. It's just a graphical issue, okay? Large. Okay, let's check this one, whether it's correct or not. A double check is always a good idea. Okay. So if return is larger than index okay if g is larger than d okay profitable and trusted profit profitable when g is not larger than d okay fine otherwise a dash here seems fine 
save after all this effort. Fill column P with anticyclic when a return is positive and index is negative, or when a return is negative and index is positive. Fill it with cyclic otherwise. Ooh, equal if. Well, this is clearly a combination of and and or. There are several ways to do it. You can do also with several if if you want to get crazy. So return. So C2 is positive and index is negative. So C2 is positive and index is negative. Index is in J. Okay. Plus, I remind you that the plus is the or. C2 is negative and J2 is positive. This I forgot a key. Okay. In this case, I have to write anti cyclic. Otherwise, cyclic. Okay. Uh, in theory, you need a parenthesis around here and another parenthesis around here. Well, but since the plus, I'm sure that it will do the multiplication before the plus, so it will do the end before the, the or. Well, but if you don't trust your math knowledge, you better put a parenthesis here and another one here, which, however, are not necessary. Okay. Here, index is negative and return also negative. Return positive and index negative. Drive anticyclic. Fine. Save after all this effort. In a new sheet, insert a bubble chart with return column C on horizontal axis. Uh, Debt column F on vertical axis and assets column D as bubble size. Displaying only the banks in 1974 and 1975 using two different bubble scholars. Wow, so this is why do I make so difficult examples? Uh, so I have to take first the one of 1974. So I need assets, return assets, and debts. Okay, maybe also the names, but it doesn't matter. The professor doesn't ask for the names. So. Okay, these are the values that I need. Yes, the professor doesn't ask for the name, so I don't select the name. Right. You can see I left out the 1975. I will build them later. Move to a new sheet. Okay, let's check uh, how the data are organized. So, X values are the ones on C, and that's fine. Y values are the one on D, and that's wrong. So this should be the F, 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 and this should be the D. Okay. Now I have to insert the other ones, so select data. Data. Let's rename uh, this one 1974. Okay, let's insert the 1975, name 1975, x values. The x values are the return, so column C. Okay, y values are in column F. So nineteen seventy five. And here honestly I can type probably it's better list exclamation mark D eight colon D four. 
oops what happened oh, no have everything so have everything should be fine save probably still display okay in a new sheet well I would like now to have my people back Using the data from sheet list to build a pivot table to display the average return by type and year. Insert pivot table. The average return, so return should be here. Field setting average by year, type and year. So I put year here. And type here. Okay, you can see that the table is absolutely unreadable because the years span on the right direction and there are too many. So, as I suggested you, it's better to invert them. So type here and you get it. This is nice. Another opportunity could be to do it like this. This is also fine, but this is nice. Save. In a new sheet, uh, draw the graph of function fxx there between 0 0.5 and 40. So new sheet. X. May I type x? Fx. Make it larger, otherwise. Okay. 0 0.5. Well, there is no specification, but at least let's see whether it works with 0. Point, ah, it's not 0. Point, it's 0, 0.5, 1. Let's see if if the graph will look too too with too many angles. I will have to use a smaller okay smaller interval. Usually, for graph like this, it's better to use a very small interval. It's equal divided by 10 minus ln click click insert not this one this one but yes it's fine in a new sheet uh, no it's not well it's not uh, quite some big was whether you have to put the new sheet or not I will accept both obviously Anyway, I will just to be sure I move it here. You know, progressors sometimes are crazy. Uh, using all six tool, find the two values on the horizontal axis where the function is equal to zero. So there are evidently two values here. One is approximately 1.5, another one is approximately 35.5. And now let's see how to find these two values. Well. Just copy this formula here. Copy, paste. Here I find zero, one, and five. Okay. It was uh, approximately one point five or thirty five. So now I use data. What if analysis go to set cell equal to the value of zero by changing cell this one? Okay, more or less. And I will repeat the same with this one. Uh, since the starting cell is much closer to the 35 rather than to the 1.5, I hope that it will catch the second one. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see it called the both. Okay, stop. Okay, let's see what my chart is going, how my chart is going. Very bad. However, the procedure I did was correct. Oh, no, it's not the same chart. But no, it completely.
okay, luckily for you, or luckily for me in this case, the professor when correcting, if the professor finds a blank graph, we look here whether the data from the graph are correct, and we check whether the graph is the right one, and in this case it seems to be the right one, or in any case we specify again that it's a bubble chart. Ah, okay, I just needed to specify that it's a bubble chart. Okay, fine. Everything is fine. I shut down Excel and switch to access exercise. If the Mac let me shut down Excel, eh, by the way. While waiting for Excel to shut down, I have already prepared Horizon. Okay, let's launch access. meantime what is Excel doing since I was working directly online there is no need to move things and create chaos let's see whether access today works come on I will have to cut the video here Maybe because I'm on VPN. Come on. Ah. I will have to cut the video. <gasps> What's this? But does Windows need to update right now? Yes. Okay, this one. Okay. Let's do it right. Okay, I will cut the video.
okay finally so now open other files browse you can see here you have the backslash backslash which on the Mac is very important because otherwise you cannot type backslash backslash on a German keyboard of course as example 80 Quality power. Oh, finally the file. Open. Enable content. That doesn't matter. Okay, let me see what we have to do. Create, we want at least all the suppliers from two countries chosen by the users. So create. We design suppliers. Company name, city, country. Okay, so oh, how can we build the, the square bracket? Oh, always the same thing on the Mac. Command Shift Eight, Command Alt Eight. No, definitely not. Command Control Eight. Is it possible that every time this story here? Oh, Control Alt E. Okay. Please tell me country. And I imagine Control Alt 9 to close. Or please tell me another country. You must make the two questions different, otherwise. Uh, if you make the two questions the same, uh, Access won't ask you two times. We'll ask you one time only, and then you will start value for the second question. Uh, an alternative could be to write, please tell me a count here, and here, please tell me another count without the or, since there is an automatic or here. Okay, this one is in the middle. Let's see. Uh, Italy, France. Okay, the supply from it, the supply from it. Save, we want, fine, close. Create, we choose at least all suppliers which have discontinued product. Display only the field company name. Create, we design, suppliers, which have discontinued product, so I need the product. Okay, company name, discontinued. Yes, okay, I don't need to show it, okay, some supplier appears more than one time because they have more than one discontinued product, there is a trick to make them appear only once, but this is a trick for advanced users, more advanced users, but pretty true, fine, finish, or I shut down access, okay, and the exam is over, everything is already online, so I don't need to copy things 